many students find very confusing. And this topic is of high importance for your examinations. So let's look at the concepts involved in comparing fractions. For comparing fractions, the first thing which we should do is to make the denominator same. This is the rule of thumb. We should make the denominator same first. Let's take an example. Let's compare 6 by 7 and 9 by 13. Let's make the denominator same first. So for doing this, we can write 6 by 7 as... Here we will multiply 7 by... 13 and when you are multiplying the denominator by 13 then you have to multiply the numerator also by 13 and this will become 6 multiplied by 13 is 78 and 7 multiplied by 13 is 91 similarly we'll take 9 by 13 and we'll try to make this denominator 13 here as 91 and for doing this we'll have to multiply 13 by 7 so multiplying 9 also by 7 this will be 9 7 are 63 divided by 91 now once we've made the denominator same we have 78 by 91 and 63 by 91 in both these the denominators are same now we can compare the numerators and we can clearly see that 63 is less than 78. So on comparison, once we've made the denominators as same, we can compare the numerators and now we can say that 78 by 91 is greater than 63 by 91. This implies 78 by 91 was equal to 6 by 7. So we can say 6 by 7 is greater than 63 by 91, which is 9 by 13. Let's take this example. Here we are given some fractions and we have to find the maximum value among these fractions. Correct answer here will be 4 by 9. So out of these fractions, 4 by 9 is maximum. And let's see how. Let's first compare 6 by 7 and 4 by 9. So here, we'll make the denominator same and uh, for that, 6 by 7 can be written as so LCM of 7 and 9 is 63. For making the denominators as 63, 7 will have to be multiplied with 9. So multiplying 6 also with 9, this becomes equal to 6 nines are 54 by 63. Similarly, taking 4 by 9 is equal to, so 9 here will be multiplied with 7 in order to make the denominators as 63. So this is 4 multiplied by 7. So this is 28 by 63. Now in 54 by 63 and 28 by 63, the denominators are same. So we can compare them. So writing 54 by 63 here and 28 by 63 here When the denominators are same as we have already discussed then we compare the numerators and we can see here that 28 is definitely less than 54 So this implies 54 by 63 is equal to 6 by 7 6 by 7 is greater than 28 by 63 is equal to 4 by 9. Next, we'll compare 6 by 7 and 5 by 13. So here, for comparison, now directly here, for 6 by 7, the numerator will be 6 multiplied by 13. And for 5 by 13, the numerator will be 5 multiplied by 7. So this is 13 6 are 78 and here we have 5 7 are 35. So 78 is definitely greater than 35. That means 6 by 7 is greater than 5 by 13 also. Let's compare 6 by 7 and 14 by 17. So this will imply when we make the denominators as same, the numerator in 6 by 7 will be 
6 multiplied by 17 and numerator for 14 by 17 will be 14 multiplied by 7 so this is equal to 17 6 is 102 and 14 7 is 98 so definitely we can see that 102 is greater than 98 so that means 6 by 7 is also greater than 14 by 17 so we were given four fractions and we've seen that 6 by 7 is greater than the first one 6 by 7 is greater than the second one also and it is greater than the third one also this implies that 6 by 7 is the maximum value let's first take 15 by 17 and 7 by 9 let's make their denominators the same numerator for 15 by 17 will be 15 multiplied by 9 and numerator for 7 by 9 will be 7 multiplied by 17 so this is 7 multiplied by 17 now we know that 15 nines are is 135 and 17 sevens are is 119 135 is definitely greater than 119 so that means 15 by 17 is greater than 7 by 9 let's make the denominator same for 12 by 13 and 15 by 17 so when we make the denominators as same the numerator for 12 by 13 will be 12 multiplied with 17 and numerator for 15 by 17 will be 15 multiplied by 13 so this will come as 204 and this will come as 195 and definitely 204 is greater than 195 so we can say here that 12 by 13 is greater than 15 by 17 let's compare 7 by 9 and 6 by 11 so on comparing these let's make the denominators as same so numerator for 7 by 9 will be 7 multiplied with 11 that is equal to 77 and numerator for 6 by 11 will be 6 multiplied by 9 is equal to 54 so 77 is definitely greater than 54 that means 7 by 9 is greater than 6 by 11 so this was our first result this is second result and this is third result based on these three results we can arrange the fractions in descending order in descending order the fractions will be like these 